Hello there lads and lasses. Now it is now March and John Wick 4 is on the horizon and with that I decide to have a rewash of the other films in the series before going to see the new one. And let me tell you, I still love these movies. The main character is as sympathetic in his goals as he is terrifying to the villains. There's a vast array of interesting music and set pieces. The idea of this whole ancient assassin network spread across the globe is very interesting and of course you have the fight scenes. Now in the John Wick films there's less focus on being stylish and badass and more on being tactical and pragmatic which in itself just ends up looking stylish and badass. John will use any advantage to his disposal from getting a cheap shot on someone's foot to stabbing them to death with pens to spending 30 seconds trying to get a vintage revolver to work to fire off one round. There's also some very interesting vehicle scenes, seeing John slide around in his muscle car and seeing this sort of stylish way of taking people out with it was very cool for me, and somehow using a horse to mess up a group of hitmen on motorcycles is extremely cool and unique in terms of movies I've seen. Basically what this intro was trying to build up to is the fact that these fight scenes are very cool. That's what I want to say, and most of the time these fight scenes really do look stylish. Unfortunately, these movies have a tendency to commit one of the worst fight scene sins of all time, having the bad guys with guns run up to the protagonist during gunfights. Now, my main gripe with this isn't that combatants using melee is unrealistic during a fight. Sometimes the situations where a gun, which would usually be a big advantage in a fight, is completely useless. You know, close. I'd rather have this than any firearm. You see, with a gun, a target can get lucky, a bullet can miss what's important, but not with this. From where you're sitting right now, say you had a gun, you could be locked and loaded. And I'd still rather be me. There are two good examples in the franchise which would be the Hall of Mirrors fight scene and the final fight of John Wick 3. In the Hall of Mirrors fight, not only is it close quarters, but there's also a lot of optical illusions that can lead you to being unable to differentiate the correct target unless you have a keen eye, making a gun pretty much useless unless you plan on spraying and praying. So the idea of combatants using close quarters combat or trying to get a better shot to fight makes sense. There's also the final fight in the glass room in John Wick 3. Throughout this fight there's large amounts of walls and displays covered in resistant glass. The main opponents are assassins that don't seem to have a proficiency for guns, primarily using knives and swords as their main weapons, and their entire deal is using camouflage and disappearing acts to get the drop on their opponents. Having a gun wouldn't be as much of an advantage as he's facing enemies that he won't be able to get a sightline on and trying to use a gun in a melee fight is just going to be a terrible idea. 
and using guns isn't how his opponents operate either, so they're unlikely to use them, preferring to use the melee weapons to get up close. This allows enemies to engage John in melee fights and it feels natural. But unfortunately, not all the fight scenes have this excuse. Many of these fights are gunfights that do not have any other environmental or ideological reasons for the mooks in the movies to run at John, but they still choose to do so anyway. Now, if these guys were slowly moving up in order to get a better shot or to flank around, I'd be understandable about why they do that. But most of the time, these bad guys don't even have their weapons up and are running directly towards John, making me question what tactical purpose them moving in the first place was when they're not even prepared to get a shot off when they need to. This sort of mistake is prevalent in all of the films, but by far the worst offender has to be John Wick 2. During this film's fight scenes, there's so many instances of bad guys just running up to John without firing their weapons, it's almost comical, like they're secretly suicidal and they finally found a quick and efficient murder machine to take them to the Shadow Realm. So if the silencer scene wasn't bad enough in this movie to annoy you, the sheer amount of times the bad guys run up to John will be. Here, just take a look at this. Now like I said, overall I still enjoy this franchise. I am looking forward to seeing the fourth one and hopefully in the future we might learn a bit more about the Continental Project and the Ballerina spin-off. But I'm just hoping that we can finally get a John Wick film where I'm not rolling my eyes at the countless amount of bad guys who have weapons and instead of using them, choose to run up to John and try and club him to death with guns. Thank you for watching my video and please consider liking and subscribing and I hope you have a great day.